hello everyone welcome back in this video we'll see custom facts so uh, as we have seen uh, the facts in the previous video so let's see how to create the custom facts so uh, you know we can create a custom facts which are stored locally on each managed host so uh, you need to save these facts uh, manually on each of the uh, managed host uh, let me check uh, for example i'm going to check all the managed host by using the ping command so here i have three managed host so it depends on your requirement uh, from where you need to use the uh, custom facts you need to go into that uh, local host and you can create the custom facts and uh, this custom facts uh, will be creating under etc ansible facts.d and uh, you need to make sure the custom facts should end with dot fact you know format so for example i'm going to create a custom facts on server d okay let me ssh to server c i have only three servers okay and uh, let me create a directory etc ansible facts.d okay and uh, under which i'm going to create a fact file that will be the custom facts okay i don't have anything let me create one okay so it should uh, end with the uh, fact extension and uh, you need to specify the you know fact that you would like to create so for example i'm going to put the section name packages and here mentioning the variables web package httpd and db package mariadb server okay and uh, another section would be users and here i'm using user1 equal raj is a two equal okay i'm just saving this facts okay let me create in a different name let me check the permission okay so i should be using sudo okay so now i have created the custom fact on the server c so now let me execute the setup command ansible server c dash m setup so here it will collect uh, you know gather all the facts 
and uh, it should list the custom facts that we defined. So I'm just looking for Ansible local. Okay, so here you can see the customs, uh, you know, the custom pack uh, that we have created on server C. using grub uh, it doesn't display so we need to scroll up and check and if you wanted to you know check on any other one for example if i go to server a and run this and if i uh, scroll up and uh, look for ansible local Okay, so we are not seeing anything for server A because uh, we have created the custom packs only on server C. You cannot uh, create this custom file in a you know, YAML format. Uh, it has to be in the INI or uh, JSON format because the playbook uh, will be in the YAML format. Okay, so now let us see how we can uh, use the uh, custom facts in our playbook. Okay, let me create a playbook. Custom facts. Okay, and uh, I'm going to execute this playbook on server C because we have created the local uh, custom facts on server C. using custom facts and uh, you can specify the host list which is server c and i'm going to just use some name prince various ansible facts and uh, using the debug module, I'm just going to print the message. So here, the package to install on. So this is the um, variable that we are going to call Ansible facts. FQDN. Is. So next we will be calling the Ansible facts. Ansible local and we have created two variables packages and users okay let's try to execute this one Ansible playbook okay so now we got the list of packages which is web package and db package so let's add some more uh, facts so let's use the another 
debug module. So here, let's uh, print the uh, you know the web package separately. So the web server package is Ansible local. Since it is custom packs, we are specifying the custom and then the uh, package name that we declared locally, which is package and the variable name web package. Okay. And uh, the DB. DB server packages okay and here it will be DB underscore package okay let's uh, execute the playbook okay looks like we got some error undefined uh, okay let's check our playbook okay so here we have mentioned the there is a typo here it has to be packages okay let me execute the playbook now Yeah, again there is a typo here so you need to put underscore okay so now we got the web server packages httpd and db server packages mariadb and let's add uh, one more debug for the user Okay, so here the uh, listed users are Ansible local. Custom and here it will be users. And let's get the user one variable value. and user2 ansible local custom user2 Okay, looks like some error again. Okay, so we missed a single quote. You can see that uh, the color of uh, you know the close you know braces is different. So now you can see it become white. Okay, let's run the playbook again. Okay, so the listed users are Raj and Joe. That's the you know variable value of user one and user two. 
okay so similarly you can uh, you know uh, create a custom fax on the managed node based on your requirement okay so finally we can see the magic variables so these variables are not fax or configured through the setup module but uh, this can be you know automatically uh, set by ansible which is the magic variables so we can see some of the magic variables for example uh, let me have ansible server a and using debug module can specify var equal inventory underscore host name so here we'll get only the server a so similarly you can mention dev so it will give all the host in the dev and uh, you can also use groups okay it will give all the uh, groups available in the inventory so we have dev test and ungroup okay so facts will be very important to use in our playbook based on the requirement to customize it okay so we have seen all types of uh, facts and variables okay that's it uh, in this video and i'll see you in the next Thank you.